Hello and welcome to a new YouTube video of mine. It's been a while. Um, I am back at home as you can see um, and I've prepared a little video for you. Um, I have my notes right here. Um, to don't forget anything because today we're going to talk about um, what you need to do now when you found a college you enroll to a college and you want to become a student athlete college athlete um, want to study in the united states or abroad in general more in the united states um, and what are your next steps so you're on track and ready to go in september or whenever your college starts for everyone who doesn't know me I'm Charlie, I am a junior in college um, in the United States. I'm from Germany originally. Um, I swim for my college and I'm going into my senior year, which is crazy how time flies. And my channel is all about the American-German cultural difference, how to become an international student, um, what are the struggles of international students, how to overcome them and how to organize international student life. Um, if you want to know more, feel free to yes, yeah, subscribe. I would love that and give this video thumbs up if it helps you and also if you need help or want to see more of my daily life feel free to just go on instagram my name is college with charlie there Let's get right into it what you need to do to start your college career first things first um you guys need to buy a plane ticket yes it's may and yes it seems early but plane ticket prices obviously rise and the average price that i pay for my ticket if i don't buy early in advance is a thousand um, or like a grand um, which is a lot of money and if you buy now you are more than likely to find a ticket that's like 600 700 um, something like that depending on your days um, that you want to fly um, a tip that I've established and I'm in a team with many internationals and it works for all internationals for all different countries in the world uh, if you fly in and out on a Tuesday that are those are the most or the cheapest flight tickets you can get um, if you book your flight on a Thursday, they are usually also cheaper than any other day of the week. Don't ask me why that is, but that's just what we've established. So we usually book our flights on a Thursday and fly in and out on a Tuesday if any, anything's possible like that. Um, so that's the cheapest. I would always, always include at least one suitcase. Um, I would also include the option to like rebook your flight um, for no fee. Um, free cancellation is not really something you need because you will fly either way, but what if you get like a very bad ear infection and need to reschedule or something like that? Um, I would also include that. And um, yeah, that's it for the plane ticket. Get your financial situation organized. I cannot emphasize that enough. Get a bank, get a dollar bank, um, get something that you are able to pay as soon as you get there. So I have a card that is a Euro card and that is, I have a bank with Euros on it, obviously, that um, is, has its main like establishment or main location in Germany, but I don't have fees with the currency conversion, so I can just pay in dollars and it converts automatically. I have no extra fees. The other option is get a US bank there, but I would also very, very much recommend to look into banks beforehand and to look into like locations that are close to your campus. So my college is located in the cities, so I have a lot of bank locations close by. Um, I kind of picked between the US Bank and Wells Fargo and I went with Wells Fargo um, just because all my friends are at Wells Fargo and we can just all take a trip at the same time there. Um, so just look for some bank locations close to your college, look for the like different accounts you can open. I have a normal checking account, you basically also want to have a checking account, you don't want to have a savings account. Um, they also have usually some cards for students that are just feeless, so look for that and then you can just go there in like the first or second day that you arrive to get something to pay with and to have your money on. Keeping going with the organization of things, um, you need to make sure to get a health insurance. There are also two different options. Option number one is you go with an American health insurance. Um, those American, American health insurances, um, you can just ask your ISS office, which stands for International Student Services. They usually have some plans prepared and you can just sign up and like, get them through your ISS office. Um, as a student athlete, you are required to have a certain type of insurance, but your coach will connect you with your athletic trainer or anyone in the legal department to tell you about that. So definitely reach out to them and ask them what is required. Um, because option number two 
is you get a travel health insurance kind of that's what i have so i have a german travel health insurance for five years um and i pay yearly and then they everything runs through them and they are based in germany um but everything is covered and i just felt safer going into my freshman year to have a german contract than having an american contract being in the united states both would have been completely fine kind of in the sun like health um department Go to your doctors, see them for a checkup. Um, I usually go to my dentist and my general practitioner to get my blood tested that I'm healthy, to get my teeth checked. And then I also go to the gynecologist, um, just because that's a regular thing in Germany. Every, every woman does that once a year, so I do that too, and I just put that in the summer. Um, you also, if you need any prescribed the drugs, get them now. Um, go to the doctors now, so if anything has to be fixed, you have two months to like fix it. For example, if you have something with your teeth, you don't want to find that out two days before you leave. You want to find out now so you can fix it and you're fine going abroad. One thing that is very, very important, um, especially for our generation, get a phone plan. Um, get a phone plan in the United States so you can use your internet um, or you have internet. I would recommend an ESIM if you are able to do that. Um, just look into like phone plans, United States. Um, I know that at t is big, for example. Um, I'm not with at t I'm with something called Mint Mobile. Um, that's just a normal, like just a website only company. There are no locations for them. They do ease them. I have unlimited, which I would definitely recommend because I can just travel while we are on the bus or like I do bus rides, whatever. I can just FaceTime my parents whenever I want to and I'm just free with my unlimited plan. And the unlimited plans are usually not that much more expensive than a limited plan. So it's definitely worth it. The last kind of topic before I go to the visa situation here. Um, is get on your college communication system. So you usually have like a college email and you have like a different type of communication where you all see your grades and stuff. We have Blackboard, but there are like so many more. So make sure to sign up for those so you get notifications of anything you need to do. And from there, make sure to you submit any form that's needed and you apply for everything that's needed on time. For example, you need to apply for housing, you need to apply for your meal plan or sign up for your meal plan. Um, you need to sign up for your classes, so you need your email to connect with your advisor, um, to figure out your class schedule for the first semester, and so on and so forth. So make sure you get on there and stay on track to be sure to do everything so everything goes smooth in September. And then the visa. So you are last minute for visa right now. It's the end of May. You need, need, need to apply for your visa. The very first thing you need to apply for your visa is you need your I-20, um, which your college needs to send you in a real letter in a paper format and signed and dated. So if you don't have that, reach out to your ISS office today in like 10 minutes after you stop this video and ask for your I-20. You will have to pay for shipping for your I-20, but without the I-20, there is no way you're gonna enter the United States and there's no way you're gonna get a visa. So once you have your I-20, um, you will apply online um, for a visa. If you're a student, um, you will apply for an F1 visa, but make sure that you like apply for the correct visa. If you're like an au pair or anything else, you need to apply for different visa types. As students, undergrad and graduate, you need to apply for an F1 visa. You apply online uh, on the form DS160. Um, I will put a link below to the form um, or the embassy where you can find the form. And then they will process and then you can log into your account, schedule an interview and you will schedule an interview. You will make sure that everything they list, that they need you to bring with you, that you have that and bring that with you. Then you're going to dress a little more fancy, a little more businessy. And they will also provide a couple of questions um, that you will need to answer during the interview. So practice answering those. The interview is in English. So practice those in English so you're confident answering them. The only thing that I really want to point out is make sure that you set that intention that you will leave the United States after you graduated from college. And then lastly, before I wrap up here, um, connect with your roommate if you have one and if they, when they like in the summer, in the middle of summer, when they like reach out to you, um, the college and tells you, hey, this is your roommate. They usually also provide an email. Make sure to like email your roommate and say, hey, I'm this and that. And, um, I'm very excited to live with you or to room with you, um, get to know each other a little bit. I would also recommend to yeah, get organized and think about what are you going to bring to the room, what are 
what is she going to bring to the room also? Um, yeah that's it if you have any questions please 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 put them in the comments and if you like the video give me a thumbs up and i would love to see you in the next video and yeah if you have any questions dm me on instagram and follow me on instagram and then i will see you in the next video i hope this was helpful um i love talking about this and helping you guys because i didn't have anyone that did this youtube channel kind of stuff so yeah i hope it helped and have a great day night whatever it is and yeah